So Jackson Colts is a rock band. We're basically very, very inspired by 80s rock and classic rock. The band started out about three years ago, just before the COVID pandemic. And we've been doing some gigs on the underground scene here in South Africa. Um, I personally have been playing music for about, <laughs> since I was eight years old. Um, I can't really tell you how many years that is. Um, but basically, yeah, um, the whole classic rock sound is something that we really strive for. And, you know, the band members are really, really incredible. Um, we've got Matt on drums, Dean on bass, who's actually a drummer as well, and Pete's on rhythm guitar. So the way we chose the name Jackson Colt is actually because it's my name. Um, what happened was I locked the other band members in my basement until they agreed that the band's name could be my name. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The way we actually chose it was I started out as a solo artist. And I've, I met these guys, they're incredible musicians, and they started joining me on my journey. And I'd already released a bit of music um, on the name of Jackson Colt. And yeah, I started getting a bit of a following here in South Africa and we decided it's a bit too late to change it. I would change it if I could to something really 80s or something really sick, but I guess that's what we're stuck with now. So the new single, Strangers, will be coming out on the 24th of March. It's actually one of my favorite songs. Um, it's a song that's very special to me. I wrote it about a year ago. And I just love the way the music sounds, the big harmonies, the guitar riffs, harmonized guitar. It's very 80s and it really stands for what Jackson Colt is about. Um, it was incredible to record it. I got to work with a musician, one of my personal heroes. His name's Dale Schnettler. He's from a band here in South Africa called Prime Circle. And I met Dale at my very first show I ever watched when I was about eight or nine years old. And he signed some drumsticks. And gave it to us and about 14 years later I met Dale again to record start recording and working on the album and everything for him to produce it and it was just an unbelievable experience to work with one of your heroes so the visual imagery behind Jackson Colt is very very retro I guess you could say um, you know love we play with a lot of um, eyeliner, bandanas, ripped jeans, a very 80s glam metal look. But um, there's also, you have to bring that side to the album art and the art and everything like that. So I've always liked the, the darker side of things, you know, black and everything. Um, but the neon colors is something that's very beautiful to me, especially with the Strangers album art, which um, Devo from Devo Graphic Music actually created, is, is something that really stood out for me. It's got almost like neon purple and that that black with the neon purple or neon red almost feels very retro almost like a retro I don't know I think of like a, I don't know maybe a video game or those arcades you see have in the 80s or something like that with the retro colors and stuff or the dances and stuff like that um, it's just something about those colors the dark contrasting with the, the neon beautiful colors so the whole idea of this band is to be, it's very glam as we'd say, or hair metal. Um, so we want things to stand out, things to pop, things to be very, very eye-catching. So yeah, that's the whole idea behind the colors and the inspiration behind that image. So very big influences on Jackson Colt. Um, you know, like I said, the 80s rock, the 70s rock, classic rock especially. I mean, I got into guitar because of Eddie Van Halen. He's been one of my biggest influences as a guitarist. Um, music side, you got Def Leppard, Bon Jovi, Rat, Dokken, uh, guys like Nuno Betancourt. You know, the whole classic rock 80s sound. Personally, as a guitarist myself, I look at a lot of inspiration from modern metal as well. Guys like Alexi Lyra from Children Bodum, Sinister Gates from Venge Sinfold. You know, um, I really like the shreddy stuff, but also the stuff that has melody to it. And there's always been a big thing to me is melody. So in terms of career highlights, um, there's actually been a few. 
we got number one with our song Echoes on the SA Top 40 with Mix FM. That was a beautiful day for me to get number one for the guys as well. We were so happy to get number one on the charts. That led us to actually play um, uh, Darren Scott, who was the DJ on the radio station, his farewell party. And it was probably the most important live performance we've had to do to date. We had to play our song on the radio. Uh, plus do a performance for his farewell party and then of course working with Dale Schnettler of Prime Circle I mean he's been such a big big inspiration on me as as a musician you know here in South Africa this guy's a rock star so getting to work with him on the album and just have him mentor me has been such a career highlight so I'm very very grateful for that So out of all the songs, which would be my favorites? Um, I actually have two. One of them is Strangers, the new one that's coming out. Like I said, it's just, in my opinion, it's really what we stand for. Um, the 80s rock, the big harmonies and the guitar harmonies and the solos and everything. It's a song that's very special to me. And also there's another song of ours called Danger Dynamite. And this song also very, very 80s rock. Um, We've basically played it, played it at every single show of ours since since we started, you know, at live shows and everything. And the the people, the fans, and just people, they've learned the chorus of it. So we save it for the end of our set, and people sing along to it. And it's just a beautiful one. You can get the crowd involved in, you know. So I really like that song as well. So basically Strangers is coming out on the 24th of March, it's up for pre-save for anyone who wants to listen to the song. Um, you can find all of our socials at Jackson Colt Rock. Basically you can see all of our shows, what we're up to, new songs and everything like that. And we're actually working on our full length album. The album will be re released later this year, but um, we've got some singles coming out uh, as it goes along. So. We're really looking forward to all that and we're just doing live shows, you know, everywhere that we can do it. We just love playing live and that's that's something we just want to carry on doing is just making rock and roll music. Well, I'd just like to say thank you to the World of Metal TV for having us. Um, we feel very honored to be featured on your channel and, you know, to everyone who just supports rock music and metal music and who keeps that fire alive, you know. Um, it's very special to us that there's a lot of people out there who still appreciate this sort of music and without any of those people we would just be lost souls so thank you very very much to everyone who's supporting the industry and yes yeah thank you